Okay, here you go. How much would you pay for 300 square feet? Yeah, a Cupertino house for sale is so small, it could actually fit into most apartments. So, the asking price? Hold on. Nearly two million dollars. Our business tech reporter Scott Budman visited the house, the very tiny, tiny, <laughs> tiny house, Scott. Yeah, it is really tiny, Jessica. Basically a studio apartment clocking in at exactly 384 square feet. But you know what they say about location. It's gotten to the point where small homes here still sell for big money. And the idea of the affordable starter home pretty much doesn't exist. 384 square feet 1.7 million dollars. Both, let's be honest, small numbers for a home on the Cupertino Los Altos border. It is the, the slowest priced single family house in Cupertino. It's also the smallest. But this little abode, built back in 1948 as a hunting lodge, found its way onto the market and got a lot of attention. Highly desirable location. Uh, great neighborhood. You're at the end of the cul-de-sac, and uh, property values around you are in the four and five million range. A house like this used to be known as a starter home, but around here, the starter home may be a thing of the past. Look at this data from Redfin. The real estate company found you need to make more than three hundred thousand dollars a year to afford a so-called starter home in the North or South Bay. That's not what starter traditionally means. Without building more homes, you're going to have homelessness and you're going to have poverty and you're going to have a middle class that can't afford to live here. As for this house, it too is likely not long for this world. This would be uh, used for uh, as a lot as opposed to a house uh, that is on it. That house has got to come down. Okay, I have so many questions for you. Okay, one, <laughs> did it sell? Two, are they just going to knock it down and build something else there? And, and did it get multiple bids? I mean, I could ask you 100 questions about that. All right, well, let's get to some of these, Jessica. Yes, so update. It did sell, and the realtor says, although there's a 21-day closing period, so she can't give me the exact price, she said it was substantially higher. No. Than, yes, than $1.7 because there were many, and I mean multiple, over bids. Will it be torn down? Probably in that neighborhood at that price and with a lot that's actually decent sized, it's most likely a tear down and then they will build something for several more million dollars. Okay, to be followed up on. I have to find out what happens with this house. Bet. Thank you, Scott. Bet. And is there a walk in closet in that house? Yeah.